Sea of Thieves is a constantly developing game with every single update adding new features, new voyages, new enemies and new ways to play. Overall, I think Sea of Thieves is in a great place with the new content being added in the format of seasons. In this video, I want to discuss the future possibilities of the game and the general direction I think future seasons will head and some potential content that could be coming very, very soon. Before we get into the video, if you want to help me out in reaching my goal of 10,000 subscribers, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also currently live over on Twitch, so make sure to stop by the stream and say hi. Finally, make sure to join the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to chat with other members of this amazing community, as well as to keep up to date with my current schedules, both on Twitch and YouTube. So far on the Sea of Thieves, we have had everything ranging from merchant missions, more merchant missions, and a reskin skull fort, which anyone who has been to knows is a complete snooze fest. However, we've also received an update which I could have never imagined come into the game in the form of the Pirates of the Caribbean Sea of Thieves collab. Season 4 then adds new environments to explore, new loot together, and a whole new host of commendations and rewards to collect. That being said, it leaves me wondering what is next for Sea of Thieves. Season 5 I don't see this season being anything special. In fact, I think players will be making the same complaints about the end of Season 2, with not enough content to flesh out a full season of gameplay. We could see some new cosmetic types which will change the shape or function of weapons, such as the crossbow Eye of Reach, perhaps a new curse to satisfy those players shouting about different curse ideas all over the wiki. I just cannot see any major feature drops coming in this season, but it's not for nothing. I truly think it's because what follows season 5 will change the game forever. Season 6. This is where I think we will get the long-awaited Captaincy and Athena update. For everyone asking about Endgame, for everyone who comments on my videos saying how boring Pirate Legend is and how they want to take their time getting there, as there isn't much to do. This update is where I think players will be racing to become Pirate Legend. Since the start of the game, players have been speculating how cool it would be to burst through the Legend Hideout waterfall into the Sea of Thieves world. Other players quaking in their boots, almost fearing Pirate Legends. Now, all we have for Pyro Legend is well. Rolls on deck laughing. The ability to become a true captain on the seas and host legendary voyages never seen before. It's just something we haven't been able to do in the past and this is where I think the game will shift in the way people play moving forward. Striving to become Pirate Legend rather than resenting it. Season 7 I think we will see some expansion on the lore here and I am by no means a lore expert. That's Captain Falcor's job. However, I think we will see Captain Jack return and expand on the tool tales we got in Season 3. I also think we will get a new faction to match the lore expansion, something to keep the player base going after they complete the new tool tales unlike last time. As to what this faction is, I don't know myself, but I hope, I hope, is an expansion on the Sea Dogs, as Rare essentially want to decommission Arena so they would need a way of players ranking up the Sea Dogs faction anyway. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.